Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. My name is Sid and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how I changed my life in 6 months and how you can do the same thing. So let's get started. So every year, we make New Year's resolutions in order to change our lives. And last year, I made it my goal to actually change my life within 6 months. So yung mga ibibigay ko sa inyong tips ngayon is yung mga ginawa ko within those 6 months. So my first step is to make a plan. So an easy way to make a plan is to start by listing your goals. So ano ba yung gusto mong ma-achieve within this 6 months or within this year? So you have to list a couple of goals that you want to achieve. For me, it helps when you're very specific with your goals. Like for example, when I was writing my goal, I wrote down that I want to save 100,000 within 6 months. I was able to achieve that because I was very specific because when you create a goal, you can come up with a plan on how you can achieve that goal. Like for example, I want to save 100,000 within 6 months. So how do I plan to do that? Magsasave ako ng ganitong amount each month in order for me to achieve the goal of 100,000. When you have goals, it's easier to make a plan around it. Maglista ka lang ng 3 achievable goals and focus on those goals in the 6 months that you're trying to change your life. Another thing that really changed my life last year is to get help. If you've been watching my channel, you probably already know that I've been struggling with my mental health issues for the past two years. And what really changed my life in the past six months is I got professional help from a doctor. There will come a time kasi na marirealize mo na hindi mo na kaya gawin yung mga bagay-bagay sa sarili mo. And asking for professional help will really help you a lot. Whatever it is that you're struggling with, there is always professional help for that. Like for example, you're struggling with your fitness. Maybe it's time for you to find a fitness coach, diba? It's mapapadali talaga yung buhay mo when you ask for help. And I assure you that it will really change your life. Because six months ago, I'm not like this. I was really down. I was really hopeless. I don't know what to do with my life. But because I was honest with myself that I needed help, I was able to be better because of the help of someone else. So if you want to change your life, don't be afraid to ask for help. So my third tip for today is to find a job that gives you purpose. Back in 2020, I lost my job because of the pandemic. And that job is my dream job and it was my passion and I was so sad when I lost it. But back in 2021, because I was doing this project of changing my life within 6 months, I decided to get another job. But the thing is, this job was not the job that I want to work with, right? I was not happy with this job. But the thing that kept me going is that this job gives me purpose. It helps me help other people. And finding a purpose in any job that you are doing really help you with your everyday life. Kasi diba, we work 8 hours a day and matagal-tagal yung inilalaan nating oras sa pagtatrabaho. So if we're not happy with our job and if we don't find purpose with our job, then mas mahihirapan tayo and it can really affect our mindset, our mental health, and our overall well-being. What I suggest you to do is make a list on the reasons why you're staying in your job and it can really help with your mindset. Because for me, I was working as customer service at a bank. And so I was helping people with their banking needs and their issues with their banks. Another thing is that this job gives me my source of income. And with that income, I can do so many things. I can fund my passion, I can save up for a business, diba? So, kailangan mo lang humanap ng silver lining sa pagtatrabaho o kung ano mang bagay na ginagawa mo sa buhay. My tip number four is to invest your money. Ever since I started working, lagi akong may savings. Lagi akong nagsasave sa banko. And what I realized within the years is that when you save your money in the bank, you're actually losing money because natutulog lang yung pera mo and actually bumababa pa yung value niya because of the inflation. So back in 2020, I was looking for ways to invest my money. And I discovered this thing called cryptocurrency. 
you probably already heard about this or maybe you're already invested in cryptocurrency but for me i wasn't aware of this until november 2020 when i decided to invest my money on it ang ginawa ko is nag-invest ako ng small amount i think it's 5000 pesos lang and then i invested 5000 pesos into two coins so, yung 2 coins na pinag-investan ko is mababa pa yung value niya in November 2020. So, hinati ko yung 5,000. So, it's 2,500 each. And in a couple of months, yung 2,500 ko is naging 50,000. So, I started investing more and I started doing more research in cryptocurrency. Kung saan pang coins mas okay mag-invest. And super nag-research talaga ako dito. So, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not telling you to invest in cryptocurrency. But for me, investing is really important because dito talaga lalago yung pera mo. And hindi lang lalago yung pera mo, kundi yung knowledge mo na rin. Because once you start investing, magsa-start ka din mag-research ng kung saan pang investments yung mas okay and mas madami kang matututunan. So, lumalago yung knowledge mo and hindi ka lang stagnant. And this really changed my life, not only financially, but also mentally because I was learning a lot of things every day because I have to learn things in order for me to grow my money. Nowadays, sobrang dami nating resources, diba? Isang search mo lang sa internet, manami ka nang matututunan tungkol sa isang subject. So you really need to research if you want to start investing your money, if you want to start growing your money, so you will really learn a lot. So that is my tip number four. So my last tip, my tip number five for you today is to make time for your hobbies and passions. So like I said earlier, our job takes a lot of our time. We work 8 to 9 hours a day, diba? Oftentimes, wala na tayong time sa imang bagay because after nating magtrabaho, we do house chores and then we sleep, diba? But for me, it's really important to make time for our hobbies and passions. So in life, we really need to find those things that gives us excitement. Hindi pwedeng puro trabaho ka lang at nakakalimutan mo nang gawin yung mga passion mo. Kasi yung mga passion natin is yung mga bagay na nakakapagpasaya sa atin, yung nakakapagpaganda ng araw natin. And if we ignore mo lang yung mga bagay na yun, then you're more likely to be burnt out sa pagtatrabaho. So make sure to give time for your passion. So that's it guys. Those are my 5 tips for you today. And I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And comment down below what is your biggest goal this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again on my next one. Bye!